Medical knowledge is often laced with buts and maybes, but not when it comes to sun exposure damaging the skin and the prevention of such damage with the use of topical sunscreens. Here, there is evidence galore. But that is not the case for pills described as solar defense supplements. The evidence that these can repair damaged skin as claimed is less than compelling. The supposed active ingredient in these supplements is an extract of the South American fern Polypodum leucotomus, usually called PLE, the skin care properties of which were supposedly discovered by the Chorotegas tribe in the Honduras. As one would expect for any plant extract, the composition is complex and contains numerous compounds. The first ones that come to mind in terms of uh, therapeutic interest are polyphenols, of which there are many in the extract. These have antioxidant properties, meaning they are capable of neutralizing the reactive oxygen species, ROS, that are generated by exposure to sunlight. These are a type of free radical, highly reactive species that can damage DNA, potentially causing skin cancer. Besides the risk of skin cancer, ultraviolet light can also promote the aging of skin by damaging collagen and elastin, the proteins responsible for the skin structure, strength, and elasticity. In theory, taking polyphenols in pill form can reduce skin damage from the sun, but the effects of the fern extract seem to go beyond that, at least in cell culture and animal studies. The extract increases the activity of erythroid-related factor 2, commonly referred to as NRF2. This is a protein known as a transcription factor that regulates gene expression. In this case, the activity of genes that produce the body's own antioxidants, such as glutathione, and of those that produce anti-inflammatory substances is increased. Observing benefits when human skin cells damaged by ultraviolet light are treated in vitro with PLE, or when the extract is fed to rats exposed to UV light, is one thing, but only human clinical trials can determine actual efficacy. There have been a number of these, mostly funded by the manufacturer, but they are not compelling. In general, they use a small number of subjects and are not randomized, blinded, or placebo-controlled. In the largest clinical trial, there was no significant difference in skin damage between subjects who used a sunscreen plus PLE pills and those who used only a sunscreen. One small study did show improvement in vitiligo, a condition characterized by unpigmented skin uh, due to lack of melanin production. Fern pills appear to be safe enough, but claims of providing protection against sun damage are pretty shady. To give some credit to the promoters of solar defense supplements, they always suggest that the pills be used in conjunction with a sunscreen. There are also a number of products that incorporate fern extract into sunscreen lotions or creams, and these are likely to be more effective than oral supplements in countering oxidative stress due to the reactive oxygen species produced by exposure to UV light. Still, the best way to protect the skin from damage caused by exposure to sunlight is not to be exposed in the first place.